Hey everybody, uh, tonight you got faced with a super tough problem um, solving an equation like this one. Um, we're going to use logs and we're going to uh, solve this. I'll show you exactly how, but I want to remind you of two things. While it was harder than I anticipated, it's not a skill you don't have. So two things to refresh your minds on. Think about solving this equation for x. Now, the problem with solving this equation for x is that you have these coefficients of a and b, and because I can't combine a and b together, or at least not, it doesn't appear that I can, it's hard to combine these two x's. So the task here is when you get both terms that have the x on the same side, factor out the x. And once you factor out the x, you can divide by that a plus b, and I can grab my favorite pink pen, sorry, red, and when I cancel that out, I'm left with x equals, x equals c over a plus b. So that's the concept, right? So we're going to go ahead and take the two x's and we're going to put them into one x using factoring. The other thing I want to remind you of is that when you see log of something, log of 20, log of 100, log of whatever, that's just a number. Um, it's a number with lots of decimals and we often have to round it off and use our calculator, but it's just a number. So you can do with it whatever you'd like. You can add it, subtract it, you can distribute it, you can do lots of things with it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, here is a sample question. That, here we go. So here's that sample question that was emailed in. I simply rewrote it so I would have more space. And here we go. So the first thing that I observe is I have variables in my exponent. So I'm going to take the log of both sides and then I'm going to move those exponents. So log of 9 y plus 34 is log of 4 to the negative 7y plus 2. Now I'm going to use the copy paste. Actually, no, I'm not. So y plus 34 goes in front. I'm going to use parentheses and log of 9. And then negative 7y plus 2 log of 4. Now, not that I want to do this here, but I do want to point out that if I need to do this, well, I guess I can use blue, I could distribute into this. Like, I could absolutely do that, right? Just be aware that I'm allowed. It may or may not help me, but I'm allowed to do that because log of 9 and log of 4 are just, just numbers. So let's go ahead and see what we can do first. Um, one of my thoughts would be, let's get rid of one of the logs from both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and dis divide both sides by log of 9. Uh, and to save myself a little writing, when I have it on the top and the bottom, that's going to do the equivalent of erase it, right? So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And now I don't need the parentheses anymore. Um, on the right-hand side, I have this thing. Let's see. Um, now I'm going to find myself in a situation where I think I should do that step I was just talking about. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, and I'm going to distribute it. Because I have this y in here, this one, and this one, and I need to get those y's together on the same side. So let's do that. Um, I have purple selected. I'll go back to blue. So I'm going to go y plus 34 is negative 7y, and then log of 4 over log of 9 plus 2 and log of 4 over log of 9. Okay, so there's my distributing done. Now let's maneuver around a little bit. I'm going to take the 34 off of both sides. So I have y equals negative 7y log of 4 over log of 9 plus 2 log of 4 over log of 9 minus 34. And now let's go ahead and finish this off by moving this y term, right? It has a y, and it's all one term. So let's move that guy over to the left-hand side by adding it to both sides. So let's see, plus, I'm going to finally get smart and copy-paste here. So let's do copy-paste. Uh, let's see, boom, copy. i got to move some stuff around here. So give me a moment, create some space here, and copy-paste. And you'll see me change that minus to a plus in just a moment. All right, so now I'm going to add it to both sides. And on the right-hand side, these two, this one and this one, will cancel out, so they're gone. And I'm left with y plus 7y log of 4 over log of 9 equals this stuff. And finally, I'll smarten up a little bit with the copy-paste. Okay, so here we go. Now... There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's fit, let's do this, right? You see the y and you see the y. That is just like, I'm going to go to the left here, that's just like having the x and the x. So we're going to factor out the y. 
All right, here we go. So I'm going to factor out the y, and I'm left with 1 plus 7 log 4 over log of 9. All right, and look, all of this stuff in here is just a number, right? We could just put that into a calculator and evaluate that. So that's just a number. And what I love about this is I went from having two y values to only a single y value, which means I can just about solve this thing. Um, on the right-hand side, nothing has changed just yet, so we'll go copy-paste. And now you're going to probably guess what I'm going to do next. Maybe not, but I hope that you can guess. I'm going to divide by this thing right here. I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to copy and paste it and divide both sides by it. If I were in class, I'd probably grab a red pen because I like to cancel stuff out in red. So I would say all of this cancels all of this, and I'm left with y, which means now it's just time for a calculator. So the only piece that I would do with the calculator is to be, is to be careful with this. So I have y equals, and forgive me for not rewriting the entire thing, but the video is already long enough. And I'm simply going to start by typing this whole thing into a calculator. Um, I would type 2 times... And then I would do log 4 divided by log 9. I'd probably press equals. And then I'd press minus 34. And then I'd press equals again. And then I would press divided by. And then for me, I want to make sure I divide by the entire bottom. So I would then open a set of parentheses. And then inside of that parentheses, I would go ahead and type 1 plus 7. Um, and then I would use well, let's see. I, I want to make sure that I don't multiply 1 plus 7. Yeah, because times. So I could do times log 4 over log 9 and then close the parentheses off. And then when you close the parentheses, then you hit equals. Um, it's a lot of calculating, but that is uh, the whole procedure. It's a lot of stuff for sure. And I have to admit one more time, quite a bit harder than I thought you were going to be seeing this evening. So I apologize for that. Um, but that is the technique and that uh, is the way to do it.